Welcome to Connect Four, and thanks for tuning in. Today, we are going to be discussing good traps versus bad traps. So let's go ahead and start with the bad traps. In this game right here, we're going to look at a trap that you should not attempt, at least against a skilled player. If you attempt this against an unskilled player early on, you're going to have a decent chance of success with this, but if you can attempt this against a skilled player, it's just going to hurt you. So I'm referring to Yellow, which is a computer on uh, Super Hard AI. I'm playing as Red, and what they're going to do is they're going to make a trap. They're going to put two, two Yellow ones on the bottom. And that's not the best move here. The best move is to control that center real estate. But they're going to go for a trap right there. Now, if I do not move to either the third or the sixth spot, I lose the game instantly. But, of course, I, I see this trap, so I'm just going to simply block like that. And what I've done is I've taken control, a little bit of control of the center here on the, on the right side, or from left to right. Because, like I said, you want to control the center real estate. Most of the moves that can get four have to go through the center. Now, of course, i got a block right here. But essentially, what Yellow has done is they've attempted a trap, but unfortunately for them, what they've done is they've wasted a bunch of real estate in the center. They could have been building up to set for traps for later. So I do not like this trap. Now, you can get... It works really good if you're playing against somebody early on, but... You know, the problem is you're putting a bunch of pieces and you're not making multiple moves with. You've only got, you know, one move. So, he, you know, here we got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. The sixth, the sixth slide or the second from the left, we can make four in a row there. Now, what we're going to try to do is control the center, obviously, because if you control the center, you know, okay, we can't make any moves to the right because they blocked us off. But if you look on the left side, we can make a bunch of moves, and you're going to see uh, how this uh, bears out in the fruitation right here. So, obviously, we're going to block right there. And now, uh, we have a way to make four in a row to the, uh, to the left side on the second slot, and you'll see how this uh, plays out in just a minute here. Okay, nothing there yet. We move, they, now they have to move, and they don't want it to give us a spot on the left, so we're going to make it on the right, and uh, we end up winning the game. And, and But the main point here is you don't want to waste, you don't want to make that wasteful move early on because you're wasting the valuable real estate, which is in the center. So don't don't try that trap against if, uh, a skilled opponent. If you're playing against somebody like a newbie and stuff, it will work on them. But you're giving up against a skill opponent, they're just going to lose games that you could win or draw. In this game right here, we are going to learn how to set up the best possible trap. We are moving first against the computer, and the computer's on super, super hard. The first setup to getting a good trap is to basically, you want to control the center. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to control as much real estate in the center uh, pieces right here. And the reason we're trying to do that is because the more stuff you have in the center, the more moves you can make later on, the more setups you can make. What you're looking to do is get, get control of the center and then set up a trap to either the right side or the left side where you can basically have your opponent in a spot where they can't do anything. So we're going to control, you know, we're not, the top one isn't so big, but we want to control at least the main three ones right here. So our next move is going to be to the center. We're going to set that up. And then as we progress, I'm going to show you the setup here. Waiting for the opponent to move, of course. Okay. All right, uh, I think on this one, I am going to set up the trap to the left, so I'm going to move to the right. The computer is going to put three in a row right there with the yellow. Uh, that's because that's how the AI thinks here. And the trap is going to be to the left. 
what we're going to do is we're going to set up where we get where we get like uh, two spots on the second the second column from the left we're going to have two spots that we can uh, connect four in either spot you'll see in just a minute here if you look at the three red ones uh, on the, the far left or to the left side what we're looking to do is set up uh, multiple multiple setup there and the move should be coming in just a minute here okay so we block right there now our next course of action is going to be to put a red one on the left as soon as the computer moves here we had another uh, setup here but the, the basic premise of this is we got a lot of stuff in the center the right side is blocked but the left side isn't blocked so there's a lot of different ways we can make four in a row you just got to be smart in how we do that so we got one way to make four in a row on the second column from the left and we're going to do another one in just a minute here so but before we get to that we're probably going to have to fill up the right side of the screen here So just bear with me here. There we block right there. Okay. Now the only move the computer can make is on the left. What we are going to do right here is this is the trap. If you look at the to the left, the second column that's open, there's going to be two spots, two spots that we can connect four in a row, and we're going to win the game right here. And that, that's an advanced, uh, the most advanced trap that I have against a computer. But that's, if you can set up multiple lengths of attack, that's, that's how you get it done. The best traps that you can have are traps where you control the center. Here we are playing as red. Again, our goal is to try to get as many pieces as we can in the center. And the reason why is because to make four in a row from right to left, you have to go through the center. So our focus on this game, again, is going to be just, just to, you know, take control of the center. And we're going we're gonna to deviate a little bit from the strategy here. What we're going to do is we're going to try to control the center from right to left. So we're waiting for the computer to move here. Once the computer makes a move, basically, uh, you know, okay. Now we can go either side. We're going to go this side. We go to the left. Our goal here is just to try to control as much of the center as possible. So we can, any two pieces we get along with this red will give us options to make uh, four in a row as you can see we've got a spot on the left we can make four in a row we could potentially have a spot on the right uh, should we want to let's see here's another spot let's see we're gonna do right there we have a spot we can do four in a row and you know the computer moved right there but if they move to this uh, slot on the right we can make four in a row. So we've got, uh, you know, a couple different spots we can uh, hit from. So what we're going to do is look and see if we can, uh, we got to watch out. We don't want to move into the far end here. So we're just going to move right there for now. But the, the po my point is this, you want to be able to control, control the center as much as possible. And, you know, see there's a trap on the left, so we're going to avoid that. Uh, but the important part here is what we've done is we've taken control of the center and we've set up a number of angles where we can hit uh, four in a row. And we're going to use that later on to our advantage, as you'll see in just a minute here. Uh, here we are. We're going to block the one spot that they can put. We're blocking the other spot. 
and we're going to have an open slot uh, right here for us. Okay, uh, we're going to take this spot right here. Now we've got a block, they're going to block, we block. All right, we move, they move, and we didn't do the most efficient setup, but we set it up to where we were going to have enough different angles to move, and we get the win right there by uh, making four in a row. But the key point is you want to take as much control of the center as possible. That way you have different different ways you can set up to get four. If one of them gets blocked, you can go down to your next option, uh, the option after that, and, and so forth. You want to have as many options as possible. And of course, you know, you got to watch out for uh, other traps. You know, try to make a mental note of where your opponent or you can't move on your against your opponent, otherwise you can you can lose. And there was a couple instances in this game uh, that that was the case. And that's going to wrap this up. I would like to thank you for watching. Wish you good luck, and remind you that if you're looking for more tips on playing this game, you might want to check out a playlist on this channel. It's titled "How to Play Connect 4. It's got a lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, there's some older ones and some newer videos. Uh, definitely something worth checking out. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, good luck.